Okay, so friggin' uh, uh, today, uh, my hands are greasy, so I'm getting them all over the camera. But uh, today I'm rotating the uh, Traptor's tires and uh, front axles and all that good shit. Um, just uh, simple uh, clampy thingy. Uh, you just stab the screwdriver between there and there, and it rides on this little groove in there. And uh, there's there's the tire front tire and uh, all that stuff. It's uh, part number, I think this is the part number, PA1010H1 LM1. And this uh, this tire and front axle assembly is off of a t MTD uh, Yard Machines uh, uh, tractor. I have no idea what model or what series or whatever it was, but uh, it had a uh, 10 horse uh, Tecumseh uh, for the engine and the engines in my scrap metal bin over there piece of shit but uh so yeah i'm uh i don't have any grease or lithium grease so i'm just using uh some uh four cycle engine oil this old can that i have laying around here and uh as you can see my hands are just cooched with uh with the friggin uh, oil and crap so uh you can see that uh this uh, bearing here, or whatever you want to call this, is pretty shot. It is pretty grooved in there. Look at that. And uh, all that good stuff. You can see that it just ground down right there. You can also hear it, but uh, yeah, that's all greased up. I don't know if this is the right way or wrong way to do it, but uh, yeah, I'm probably not supposed to be using uh, four cycle engine oil to grease. Uh, an axle probably should have used uh, the stuff that I had this at the shop, but I don't have access to that. So Yeah, but uh, Also the main reason why I took this tire off is because This particular tire does not ride well and it rides It's riding right now. It's riding just kind of like this and uh, You can see that there's more tread on this side than this side this side's more rounded, and uh, plus it's got a slow leak in it. I also want to take the rim off because I mean these these are shot. Maybe I can go to uh, TSC or Tractor Son of a Bitch or whatever, and get some uh, freaking uh, new tires, and some nice beefy ones. Because these things are probably like 20, no, not even 20, like probably five years old, ten years old. They're uh. Oh, there's Buddy. Brain Lantler John's texting me. It's uh, their Duro made in Taiwan. They're uh, 13 by 5.006, uh, not for highway use, blah blah blah. HF 224 uh, 2 2 1. Uh, they're tubeless. Uh, max 20 psi. And uh, yeah, so there's a tire. But, uh, yeah, they used to be, like, a whitish color, but, uh, now they're just kind of a color, so. But, uh, yeah, well, uh, you can see this crap on the ground here. That was, uh, the original, that was, like, the old goof, yeah, the old yucky <coughs> grease that was on there and inside the axle, or inside the shaft of the, uh, wheel here you can see that I've most cleaned most of it out already and uh, stabbed some uh, some grease in there or some uh, four cycle engine oil and all that good stuff I still haven't uh, torn off that axle and that uh, assembly over there yet so that's probably what I'll do next and check that one out I also noticed that this one looks a lot flatter on the top than this one over here you can tell that this one seems more more pumped up and all that good stuff. But the, yeah, the steering works pretty good. The steering's good still. And this tire, yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, she probably could use some grease. Big time. But uh, yeah, so... I can't get it, but uh, 
Yeah, so uh, let me read this text from Breathing Antler John here, and uh, we'll resume here in a sec. Okay, apologize. So yeah, we uh, we got the uh, axle and uh, tire and everything back on there and assembled. Put the cappy thingamajooger doer dewy thingy thing on, so that's awesome. And uh, it's, eh, rolls pretty good, you know, so yeah. I'm glad I uh, took the time to oil that for freak's sake. Uh, is that, is it supposed to have that much play in it? I don't know, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so uh, on to the other axle. Ah, oh, way to go Steve, you didn't film the rest of the goddamn video, you son of a bitch. Well anyways, uh, hey guys, this is uh, uh, a few days later after uh, this video has been filmed, the one of uh, me messing around with the front tires on the tractor. Yeah, I apologize, I did not film the rest of the, uh, the video, because, well, you know, when uh, Breathing Antler John shows up, not much work gets done. It's kind of like being on the purple stuff. Buddy, don't take this to a fence, no, no, no. We have, we, we do more than just, we like throw lawn chairs around, as, as seen in my last video there, we, we throw lawn chairs and, and just, it just, we're just heavy on the purple stuff, so yeah, apologize, but yeah, um, I'll keep the awesome videos going and stuff and all that good stuff and frig and yeah, I'll keep you entertained, hopefully I haven't bored you, um, you know, so. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all to the new subscribers on the channel. Be sure to check out the other channel, my main channel, which is uh, Steve8979. Uh, that that number again is Steven8979 at .youtube.com. So yeah, check out the main channel and uh, be sure to check out the one you're on currently. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's Jim Morrison in the background there. He's staring me down like a son of a bitch. And, uh, so, yeah, um, I guess, uh, that's about it, so, yeah, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated more on the Traptor and, uh, all that good stuff, and, uh, I still got a ton of shit to do, and, uh, there's no time to do it, so, yeah, so that's about it, um, if I can't, if I really can't think of much anything can't think of anything else to say in the video, and then I'll think of it after I make the, after the video's done, and then I'll teach it on the t in the computer, and I'll be like, oh, freak's sake, I forgot, got to say that, so I apologize, but yeah, thank you for watching this video, and uh, yeah, more on the Traptor soon, ladies and gentlemen. Till then, don't let the Chihuahuas get you. I don't even know. Can I slow that down? Hey, Shaky. Shaky, can we, can we slow the, that part down where I say don't let the chihuahuas get... Damn it. Freak's sake.